Hi, welcome to my talks vlogs and today we are on the way to We have already almost reached the place. Yes, it is one of the famous place in the world as well as in India as well as in Karnataka. It is a Ranganathi to bird sanctuary. Yes, we are on the way to Ranganathi to bird sanctuary which is one of the famous bird sanctuary in Karnataka. And it is near to Mysore and we are on the way to see it because I have never visited it. So almost we are approaching the place and uh, here we come to the forest uh, gate where uh, we have to cross the check post and you have to pay some money to enter the gate and uh, we are just waiting for our turn and we can see a full board of names of birds which are present here or come here. So we have taken the tickets and we are going to enter the place there are two gates one is for entry and one is for parking as well so the front one what you are seeing is the entry and the other side left side where we are going is for parking as well so we are taking the parking uh, gate so that we can park our gadi and go so it's a really big parking lot here So it's a pretty cool parking here and um, actually we are entering the gate now. So this is the gate where we have to go inside and uh, there's a big huge uh, parking lot here. And uh, this is uh, the way where we have to enter the gate so that we can go to bird sanctuary, I mean where the birds are there. So this is uh, like a zoo where you can see a uh, lot of uh, greenery and um, lot and lot of uh, pictures here and there of birds because this is a bird sanctuary and uh, big hoardings and pictures of the birds, varieties of birds here you can see and if you have time you can actually so Apart from that, that there are a lot of other uh, buildings also where you can get information and the di different department uh, offices are also there as you can see there are big, big hoardings which you have a lot of information if you want to read it and now we are entering the place uh, there's a lot of walking in here because it's a big park so if you really want to see the birds then you have to walk in, in through that garden so this is a very beautiful garden i can see and uh, my daughter is very excited coming here and she's really excited to see the birds as well so there are a lot of uh, things like i, I am crossing the a stone water on the stone so just like balancing myself and uh, as we enter we see a lot of big big trees around greenery and it's just like a zoo where you walk around and you find different varieties of plants trees around and even human made lakes are there canopies built human built canopies are there where you can sit and relax and you can Spend your time and even you can do photo shoots so, so a lot of time to spend in uh, here and there so we really uh, were enjoying clicking a lot of pictures here and apart from that there is a lot of trees where kids can enjoy themselves by hanging around because lot of trees having uh, long roots where people, uh, kids can hang and yes these places are really really cool to sit and talk if you are with your family or friends like that but as we are in hurry so we are not spending any much time because most of these like you can see in bangalore as well like parks so kids were more excited to see the birds rather than this so we are just heading towards the bird birds where we can see the birds so on the way and uh, we are just walking 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 through the path
So should be very patient enough to walk around in here to reach the place exactly where we have to go. So if you want to see the birds then you have to go for boating. So we are heading towards the boating place where we have to reach in between these places and you can see glimpse of birds there and um, actually a nice place and we have to buy tickets to boating as well apart from entry fees so we are just waiting for our tickets to arrive and uh, yes tickets are there and we are now going towards the boating area so this is the area where boating will be done and even, even here you can see a lot of boats uh, of the animals present in the river and the information about the birds and what type of birds come here and all those stuff. Apart from that I like really like this circle where uh, it is uh, statues of birds and uh, sitting on the branch of tree which is really attractive. So apart from that here also they have a lot of uh, buildings for information or whatever. So you can find so many things and here we are for boating. So this is the boating area where we we are heading. So actually we came on the right time that's why it is so khali khali. Usually here the boating uh, starts late and uh, around 1.30 to 2 30 something like that they have the lunch break as well so we have to be there on time and the life jackets will be kept there you have to just uh, pick up and wear the proper jackets according to your size and uh, just wait for your turn because um, one by one they will leave the boats not uh, together and there are no motor boats as well nor the pedaling boats so it will be like slow and steady no much noise can be done here because as it is birds so if you do a lot of noise they'll get disturbed and they might flew away from there so that's why it is kept very very silent and cool <laughs> See this side. Mama, so many birds flying across me. Yes. Jay. Mama, look, Nisko. Yalle? Alli, alli, alli. If you wish so. Be careful, don't talk. Jay, mobile samayta nino vai tia olakke. Jay, in one day one step forward. Nino vai tira la. Hey, what a fuck. What am I in one day one step forward. Oh, oh. I know you want a uh, mummy, new no. mummy. That doesn't mean I should be sacrificed. So best thing to do is to sit and relax here. Very nice place to sit and uh, we will click a few pictures over here. Very nice and calm place to enjoy the nature as well. And most of people are busy in talking and I am here clicking lot of photos which I always do and yes I really like the place uh, the river is very cool but you can't put your hands and legs in that because there are crocodiles uh, so it is not safer so I'll they say not to touch the water much but anyways we can sit nearby and click but uh, on safer side you should be and uh, just waiting for our turn to come and just doing my best clicking the pictures. So finally a boat is here and we are uh, getting into in and this boat is really big huge and around 20 to 25 people can fit in there and it is covered by grills as well for safety purpose as crocodiles and other thing, uh, animals might attack or on safer side because kids will be there. 
so we are just hopping in all are getting settled and uh, we are just getting into the boat it is a big task to do we have to balance as well as we have to get in and uh, yes uh, it was a bit difficult for me so just taking some time and doing it no hurry you can just relax and get in and this is the enter we have entered the boat and this is the view so this is the chair where the person will sit and row the boat and it is a traditional way of rowing the boat with the sticks which is used for rowing the boat because it has to be silent so motors can't be used so it is done by hand ಒಂದೇ ಜಾತಿ So finally we are on the boat and there are all the people behind me are in my boat and they are busy in either seeing or taking the pictures so it's really excited we have started the, the rowing of the boat and we can see a lot of birds in one one tree there will be more than 200 to 300 birds in one single tree and trees are so small and tiny but still you can see huge lot of birds with their families with their nests and small ones which will be hanging around and you can hear a lot of chirping of them at a time which is like amazing so we could see so many varieties of birds here and uh, the person was telling so many names that we can <laughs> keep in mind but uh, it's really cool to see and here the first glimpse of crocodile i was like wondering the bird is standing next to the crocodile and crocodile is arms is sleeping i was like uh, what the bird will do if the crocodile catches it <laughs> but anyways it was uh, in a lay mode that he is just sleeping around and being lazy and bird is enjoying in his own way it's quite nice to see and huge and huge number of birds of different varieties or on trees and there are a lot of trees actually uh, this is the peak uh, uh, time to come here it seems as the person was telling usually bird from varieties of countries fly over the period and reach here by october or something so they build their nest around one or two months then they lay eggs and and they hatch it then the small babies will come out and they will start growing up so by the time the babies grow up it will be june july and the birds will fly back to their countries with their small ones which is amazing i felt really amazing to learn so much thing about the birds and it is so proud moment for us because this place is in our country where all varieties of birds from so many countries fly so far to come and build their family and take their family along and we should be very proud about this matter because it, it's really so so cool
here you can see lot and lot of nests built up in one uh, one branch of tree the tree is so small on top of that branches are so so small but still it is holding so many nests built up by the uh, birds and one category of birds stay in one tree and build their nest next to next to next to each other and the small ones will be there as well so it's really amazing to see all this and i prefer that we should visit uh, places like this with our family or and kids to show them how beautiful nature is It is huge acre of uh, 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 land here and uh, uh, the river is so huge that you can't cover the entire area but uh, they take us around for half an hour and uh, you could see this, uh, I was observing it from far and all the crocodiles are real but none of them move almost for half an hour to 45 minutes uh, uh, we were observing and uh, it was like nothing you feel as if there is some statue or there not the real crocodile but it is the real crocodile which is sleeping over there and not even an inch it moved from the time we started observing it till the time we left everything was same so you feel as if there is stone statue but it is the real crocodile which is like amazing and they are like already prepared that usually wild animals uh, get distracted when humans come near to them but here they were like still so it's like they have been trained for years together that okay you come you see you go <laughs> anyways they were enjoying their way but we were uh, um, uh, I mean I was um, amazed to, to see and uh, we were lucky to get such um, scenery to see as well I'm going to go to the 
ಇಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಹೋಗಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ it is a huge area to cover so they can't take us everywhere but they take us in this particular area because lot of trees are here and most of the birds stay in this area so they will take us here and finally we are coming near to the end of the uh, boating so you can see the other part of uh, the boat, uh, park where we actually started at the boating so it's going to end soon and we really got nice view of birds and we are really happy to see that and we are getting down of the boat and the next set of people are getting down so i have tried to cover so much uh, at least to show some a few of the birds and scenery and this is the uh, two ways where you can get into the boat and uh, this side there is lot of other parks where you can explore if you have time so it's a huge park where you can explore and uh, spend time for whole day but uh, as we were in a hurry we couldn't finish the to see the entire park but what we really came we actually saw there and we were happy about that so we are leaving uh, to bangalore uh, as we have to reach early and this is the out gate entry and exit is the same gate and you can see lot and lot of uh, birds uh, statues as well there arranged and we are on the way to bangalore and this is the main gate and we are entering the main road which is like um, uh, we have to take a deviation this is actually bus stand where it is so beautiful they have colored it and put a lot of birds on that and on the way we had a small tea break as well as at madur which is very famous for madur vada so we came here to madur tiffinis which is very famous and lot of crowd is there so we had a strong cup of tea and uh, along with vada which tasted really good and a huge crowd here so we are just having it and living so it's already evening and we are heading back to our home and it was a pretty cool uh, trip and uh, really enjoyed uh, thanks for watching guys